Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I'm working with the What's Cooking Stamp and Die Set. Lovely bundle um, in the annual catalogue that you might have overlooked. Um, great fun for anybody who's a fan of cooking, male or female, lots of people baking at the moment. So you've kind of got both baking elements and food preparation elements, um, some cute little... Um, chef's hats as a, an accent and some um, sentiments and some dies that cut out the majority of those images in fact the only ones that it doesn't cut out are the um, little sort of vegetables and the chef's hats but everything else is cut out and you have extra dies that cut out this little whisk and spatula as well so you can have lots of fun with those and I thought it would just be a rather fun card to make um, for somebody who's keen on baking with a little spoon inside the bowl so I'll just show you how you can get that effect as well and creating quite a bit of dimension and I've used the texture um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, painted texture? I think it's painted texture. I'll have to look it up um, and I'll put the, the link in the de description below. Um, but it's a 3D embossing folder so you get lots of real sort of texture in that card that looks absolutely fabulous. So this one I went for sort of green. Um, it reminded me of the old fashioned kind of green bowls that uh, you used to get for baking. Um, and I've also used some of our wood texture in good taste paper as well to give a real sort of wood feel for that rolling pin uh, and wooden spoon as well. So you can, this is a standard card base, so whichever is your preference, um, but um, I've made mine 14 and a half by 21, scored at 10 and a half, and then the layer that goes on that is 14 by 10 centimetres. And I've just popped that through the embossing folder um, to create our layer. And as you can see here, you get lots of lovely texture on there. So that's the first thing that I'm going to pop on the front of my card. Just pop that on with some seal. Um, I'll often use uh, wet glue if I'm doing um, uh, an embossed panel uh, because it just enables you to get stuff glue into all those nooks and crannies. I'm just going to add that onto the front there. So I thought, I thought I'd go for a bit of smoky slate and a bit of pink because pink and grey I always think look lovely together. So grab yourself um, you want some scrap whisper white, basic white, um, and I've got some of the wood grain paper. And I've actually gone for, on this one, a slightly darker um, one, darker colour. So I'm using soft suede here. And just stamp the those images on there. Now you could fussy cut these out if you prefer, if, you're, if you haven't got a, a die cutting machine. Um, but it's, I think, you know, it is, makes life a lot easier if you have. So I'm just going to, all I've done is I've added a little bit of low tack tape to these, to these dies, just to hold them in place um, while I die cut. I haven't found there's a, 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 an up or down on the um, rolling pin so just kind of pop that in there and then pop those through on your platform so this one just layer that up i keep one plate for my um uh cutting into and one for the top of my die cutting and i keep a separate but pair for my embossing um to avoid any problems Pop those on, um, create your sandwich, and just keep them away from those black lines at the end. That way you'll find it'll go through really easily. And just pop those through. Like so. And there we have, there we go, our spoon and our rolling pin ready to go. Complete with a bit of, uh, bit of my tape. Now I thought for the bowl this time we'd actually go for um, a pink bowl in, 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 its own, uh, in its own right. So I'm just going to take a scrap of basic white. And these, because these are red rubber stamps we don't need to use our um, stamping pierce mat because they've already got the cushioning on the stamps themselves. Now my polished pink that I thought I'd use, one of the new in colours, is really very very juicy. Um, so that means there's a lot of ink in it. So what I'm going to do is to make sure I get the best image. 
I'm just going to use a scrap of paper, obviously my, all my grid paper, tap, tap, tap in the ink, lightly stamp once and then stamp. I've got a really nice crisp image. Again, just add your die to that and pop that through the embossing machine. And then the other items I'm actually going to stamp in memento black because I want to add a bit of colour with my stamping blends. Um, I'm going to leave that ink pad out because I'm going to use that in a moment. So, I want to add a salt and pepper. And by stamping memento ink, it means we can then um, um, we can then colour with with our with our stamping stamping blends as well. Okay, so here we go. So now we've got our lovely bowl and we've got our salt and pepper and I've got a spatula as well. Now what I've also used on the card is for my main focus is my um, tasteful labels. So that's this lovely die set here of super labels, all of which have got either embossing or stitching on the edges. Really good, um, really good fun. And I'm just going to, while I've got my pink ink out, I'm just going to take my um, hats, again, stamp off slightly because it's juicy. There we go. Um, and just add a bit, a bit of interest. And I would usually stamp that on my envelope as well. So pop that to one side. Now we want to start creating our sort of 3D effect with our bowl and do our colouring. So I've got a polished pink and this is just my single um, dark polished pink marker. And I'm just going to colour those in. I'm just adding a little bit of colour to these. Um, I did try stamping them on wood as well, on wood on wood paper, um, but to be honest with you, I quite like them on this. Now, you could obviously use your light and dark to do this. Just for speed, I'm just coming in with the bullet tip to add a little more shading in there. Most of the shading is already done on, um, on these. Let's say just by coming in a little bit more just get that a little bit of, of interest to it and then while those ones are drying I can come in as I say the, the you lose a bit of the detail by um, using the blends on top of the colour but on the other hand you get this sort of pretty kind of pink pink bowl instead. So now what we want to do is create our um, slot for our spoon to go in and this is really easy just using um, a pair of snips. If you've got a craft knife then that's perfect, use that as well but if you haven't if you just take open your scissors out and just drag your snips along that edge a little way in you'll find that will um, cut through and once you've done it once just find the groove again and do it a second time and you'll find that will just open up a little slot and once you've done that you can pop your spoon into your mixing bowl now to hold that in place I'm just going to use a dab of um, glue underneath on, on the reverse of that I'm not going to use a dab of glue because that one seems to have run out. There we go. So I'm just putting a little bit underneath there. Just allows us to have our spoon. Right. Leave that face down because what we're then going to do is add dimensionals onto the back of several of these items. So these ones are going on flat. This one is going to go across, but we're going to want some dimensionals on the back of our 
rolling pin. So this is where mini dimensionals come into their own. Because you can just pop a mini dimensional onto each end of that. Now with this, um, what I want to do is actually double that up because it's going to go, um, this one, this edge is going to go on top of the label, but this one will be on the far side and we're going to add dimensionals to the labels as well. So I just need to put a second dimensional on top. So I've put one on, taken the top off and put a second one on top as well. I've already die cut my label. So what I'm going to do now is add some dimensionals to the back. Um, and for this, I'm going to use my big dimensionals. And just remove those back. So I've gone silent, haven't I? Go, <laughs> not like me. So add your label, and I just put it off to one side. It doesn't always have to be central. It looks quite nice sometimes to have something a little bit um, off centre. And before I do that, I must remember to add a couple of dimensionals onto the back of the spoon as well. Again, these will need to be sort of double layered up. Um, as well just to support that end there okay so take the backings off your dimensionals and that can then go straight onto the edge of our label so you can see there that's lifted up Oh, not quite lifted up one layer, I just need to pop one underneath the edge there. We're going to pop this one through here, so all I'm going to do is just pop some wet glue on the back part of the spatula and part of the um, arm, like so. Now the two um, salt and pepper mill, again just a single bit of, a single bit, a single dimensional on the top ends there, that supports it with a bit of glue to attach it to the label. And now my <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? That's uh, funny. I just fall, stuck my salt and pepper put milk to my glue. It'll teach me being untidy. Like so. And then finally, just a little trim of, a little bit of glue on the bottom edge of the um, rolling pin. And then we can pop that just across that bottom edge. So the two dimensionals go onto the smoky slate and the rest goes in the middle. Now all that's left is for, our, for us to do our sentiment. So I have just got a scrap of um, basic white. And again, using that super juicy ink pad, which I've for once put away, wow. I'm just going to stamp that twice and I'll... The reason I'm stamping it twice is because when you when I cut the words out, I like to leave a little bit of a border. So if I just cut out the whole phrase first, kind of get a reasonably um, even border. And what I do is, for the big words, I cut close to the is. To get my homemade and happiness. And then for my is, I cut close to the other words. And that way it just gives me a slightly bigger piece of card to work with uh, when I'm adding my dimensionals onto those as well. Now obviously if you wanted to, you, if you didn't fancy fussy cutting those out, you could always pop them um, 
stamped straight onto the label but this does mean that if you get any issues um, with your stamping then you really don't you, you know you've uh, you're okay because you're only attaching them on yeah there's my ears and I probably won't so just pop that down so all we need to do is happiness and that is in whatever funky way you want. So there's a homemade card saying happiness is homemade, ready to go with perhaps some homemade treats or some other goodies that you might like. So that one's in, in polished pink. My original one is in soft succulent. Um, I personally prefer the pink and grey, um, but I, I but I rather like the, the the green too. So you could do whatever colour you wanted. Maybe even coordinate it with the recipient's kitchen or utensils. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon. If you'd like to purchase any of the products you've seen, pop along to my blog at Flutter by Heidi and follow the links, or follow the links in the description bar below. Thanks for watching. Bye.